Hello and welcome to the next tutorial in Python. Now we'll be looking today at if and else, else statements. This is how we get our computer program to make decisions. So let's have a go. What I'm going to do first is do a print line just to ask a user to enter in their username. So please enter your username. There we go. And now, as you saw in the last tutorial, we're going to make a variable called username and make it equal to input, which will take the input from the keyboard. So this is where it gets interesting. Here's where we make the if statement. So we use the word if username, so whatever is stored in the username box. Now, we have to use double equals this time. Double equals in Python checks if something is equal to something else, not a single equals that's used for assigning a value to something. So you have to use double equals. And as we're checking against a piece of text or a string, as it's known in computing, we have to put it into speech marks. So I'm going to use poor old Bob again. There we go, put his name in. And then we have to put this colon. Now as long as we put that colon and then hit enter, you'll notice my cursor has been indented here by one tab. This is vital because basically anything that's indented now by this one tab is inside the if statement and the code will only run if the condition here is true. So if we just put, for example, access granted. There we go. Close the speech mark. Close the bracket. So if the username is equal to Bob, so if whatever the user has typed in is Bob, it will type print out access granted. Now if I hit enter again, this is a really common mistake. We're going to do the else part next, but you have to press backspace to take it back to the edge of the screen so it's not inside the if statement. So this time we don't put a condition because this will print if anything other than Bob is in the variable. So I just do a little print line and say access denied. There we go. Uh, access not granted. There we are. Just like so. So, walk you through it one more time. We print, please enter your username to the screen. We store, using username is equal to input, the text that they've typed in into the variable we're calling username. Now we check if whatever's stored inside username, double equals, in speech marks Bob, it's going to print access granted. If anything other than Bob is in there, it's going to print access not granted. Let's run it just to check our code. Here we go. So I'm going to save this as if.py. Save it. And here we go. Please enter your username. So I'm going to check it first with Bob. And it works. Access granted. But to fully check this, we have to run it one more time. And here we go. Run module. Right, so let's put Fred in this time. Access not granted. It works a treat. So this is a basic login program demo, if you like. So you can make this to allow perhaps a registered user to access your program or not, as the case may be. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. And next time we will see how to cast numbers uh, to make sure that Python recognizes it as a number rather than text. See you next time. Bye for now.